another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Um, we're going to get into this Devin Haney situation. He's got two options, Shakur Stevenson and Regis Progre. Uh, we should, he, he has <clears throat> till Friday, by the WBC, he's given him till Friday to decide. Um, so we're going to get into that in, in, in just a second. Um, Pro- okay, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe, follow 3 Boxing, 3 Boxing Blog, or all from social media. Quick hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Please also subscribe to Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. Please like, share, and subscribe to that channel as well. All right. it. Uh, all right. Uh, all proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. Um, the WBC is giving the WBC is about that race's program holds. Uh, he, he had just defended it last month in his hometown. Uh, now it looks like this fight's going to be set for either October or November. Um, Matchroom is going to have a busy October, November. That's also the time frame they're looking at for Bam Rodriguez. So this is going to get interesting. Uh, this is going to get really, really, really interesting with, with those two fights. You got Bam. And Sonny, and you got um, Regis, and um, um, Haney. Uh, my brain, it's 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 two a.m. here in in Texas. My brain. Um, so I mean, this is good news. This is this is really good news. Um, I, what would fight would you? You would rather have the Shakur Stevenson fight? I'm guessing that's the fight y'all would rather have. Is that right? Uh, Dev is a, a free agent. Uh, I spoke to Bill Haney. I was at the uh, Regis program fight. Bill was there. Um, you know, Bill said they were going to come scout Regis, and if they look good, if Regis looked good, he, they, they would fight. Um, they would fight Haney. Haney would fight Regis. Um, I talked to him in the, in the hotel after the fight. Um, Haney said, "Bill Haney said we're going to make that fight. We're going to make that fight." I said, you you said he had to look good. Did he look good to you? And he laughed and shook my hand. Um, that fight's going to happen. Um, I was fairly confident it was going to happen. Uh, the Shakur thing came up. They offered Shakur 25%. I think they, you know, it's kind of one of those deals. Well, if they take it, I guess they'll take it and we'll make it. But I, I didn't think uh, Shakur was going to take that. Um, it just, you know, even if it's the biggest payday of his career, Shakur is one of the best fighters in the world. He's just not going to take 25% to fight Devin Haney. You know, even if he if you think he should, even if it makes business sense, he's not going to from a, from an ego play, from an ego standpoint, he's not going to take that. Uh, I haven't seen a split here. Um, there's no split here, uh, but this fight looks like it's going to go. Um, Dev, uh, Regis tweeted, uh, yo, Eddie Hearn, I'm fighting. Devin Haney in November or what? It's on you. And then uh, to that, um, um, Devin replied, October. So it's not going to be November. It's going to be October. But it's either going to be October or November. It's going to be in the fourth quarter of this year and not December because no one likes to fight in December. right? December and January is historically... I'm into this fight. and I'm going to pick Regis. And I know that's going to be unpopular given his last performance. But, like, look, guys, his last performance was not good. It was not the performance he wanted. He didn't get the knockout he wanted for his home crowd. Um, he won. He took care of business. Not every performance. And I, I think people are, are so fickle, right? It's not Major League Baseball. You don't get 600 at-bats a year, right? You get one or two fights a year. Uh, you know, Devin's looked really, really good. It's going all, all the way back to the last two years or so. The Giorgio Diaz fight. Um, the Cambosis fight, he looks sensational in the second Cambosis fight um, and the Loma fight, right? I, most people think he lost Loma fight. Put that aside. Uh, it, you know, the second Cambosis fight, um, 
the Jojo Diaz fight, he looked really good. And did he look great against Linares? Did he look great against Gamboa? I, I know we're going back a little bit now, but he didn't look great in those fights. So what I'm saying is everyone has a fight that's not sensational. That's not great, right? Um, you know, Regis was a real stinker. He fought Zaria, a good fighter, I, I suppose, who just wouldn't engage. He wouldn't engage at all. He was off the back foot. He was running the whole time. He at no point fought that fight to win. Um, it, I mean, it, it, he just he wasn't engaged in the fight. He wasn't interested in that fight. So this is what you got. You know, it, it's unfortunate, right? But, you know, Regis' stock went down. I still think Regis, you know, he, he's slow and this and that. Like he's not hyper athletic, although he's pretty athletic. He's not as athletic as Devin Haney or Tiafimo Lopez, but he's a pretty good athlete. He's got decent speed. I don't understand this. He's slow footed thing, right? No, he's not. Like um, he's got a good power. He's got a good jab. His skills. He's got a round attack style. He's got a, he, you know, he fights in a rhythm. He's really good. He's got a big pop. Even the knockdown, he's good as a He caught wheeled them. Right, he's a, he's got good craft. He's got good skills. He should have done better in his rear fight. He should have figured out a way to cut off the ring. He should have trapped him. He should have beat him up and stopped him. He should have done that. He didn't. It was not a great performance. You know, I was around him that whole that whole fight week. He was bombarded with people everywhere he went. There was you know mobs and mobs of people. It was like a rock star there. They loved him. Um, you know, they said in New Orleans, there's three professional franchises: the Saints, the Pelicans, and Regis Program. And he was treated like that. Um. It wasn't his best performance. Like that, that's all you can say. I, it, it, do you think he's not better than that? Right? Like I thought he beat Josh Taylor. Right? I mean, um, he beat uh, Zapeta, destroyed Zapeta, stopped him. Like I mean, look, Regis's program, Ray's resume isn't great, but his skills are. His resume, they wouldn't fight him. Yeah, I've always said he's the most of a. They offered Ramirez, J.C. Ramirez. Uh, but the, the, the WBC bylaws say 75 and 25 for, for um, the challenger. That would have been that 25% would have been Ramirez. I know for a fact from a real credible source that Reason's program offered Ramirez another 10 bips, another 10 points, 35% to make the fight. And Rick uh, Mirajan, their, their manager, wouldn't sit down with him. He said it's not enough money. They don't know what the purse is yet. And they said it wasn't enough money. And they fought Richard Comey instead. That's a duck. But this is the kind of stuff that Reeds has been dealing with his entire career. And this is not just Ramirez that ducked him. So I, I told Bill Haney in in, in, in New Orleans, like, I give you full credit. I give Dev full credit. Dev is, is, is a true champion. He fights everyone. He doesn't duck people. He's looking to fight the best. Full credit for that. He's fighting Dev. He's fighting Regis. That's a great fight. Let's get it. Let's make it happen. Um, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. What fight would you rather see? Would you rather see Dev fight Shakur, or would you rather see him fight Regis? I'd honestly rather see the Regis fight. I think it's a better fight. I think it's a more entertaining fight. I think it's a good contrast in styles. Um, I, I think either fighter can win that fight, but I'm going to take Regis in that fight. And it's probably going to happen in October, November. Uh, please also subscribe to the Texas Boxing Scene. You can watch the interview with Regis Progray from his last fight on my Texas Boxing Scene channel. Uh, it is uh, July 18th, 2022. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.